Hey y'all, I hope everybody's doing great today and had a good Thanksgiving. So I'm out front and I just had some updates that I wanted to show y'all about the landscape that I've chosen to do in the front. And um, we've really done a lot of discussing it in the comments and I've enjoyed that so much and y'all have given me so many great ideas. Um, and so before Thanksgiving, I went out to my favorite place for our farms in Slocum. It's a wholesale nursery and I've talked a little bit about it and I wanted to show y'all a little bit of footage of that trip out to four our farms. Um, and then we will do a little walkabout. I'll show you some of the plants that I've placed in the front and what I've chosen to use. And I really hope that y'all like it and I'll kind of explain my thinking behind it. And then we'll get to planting. Thanks for watching. So we're out here at Four Our Farms. It's about a 25 minute drive from my house and it is my happy place. As you can see, how could it not be? This has been one of my favorite places to come and shop for plants now for about seven years. They're real good prices, so that helps. But there is all kinds of different shrubs, plants, trees, just about anything you need is out here. And it's just so much fun to come out here and visit John. This is where he works and he does a lot of propagating for them. And um, he just has so much plant knowledge. And so it's really a lot of fun. So today I'm out here and I'm gonna get some distillium to go in the front. Also, I have uh, just a couple of other things I'm thinking about that he has mentioned to me. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. All right now, so y'all are gonna see why I love this place so much. This is our plant hall so far. I'm getting some green, are they wintergreen? Wintergreen. Wintergreen boxwoods to put along the front in the front yard. And then also I have two Japanese yew also known as Pringles Protocarpus. And so we've got a little plan in mind for where those will go. And John is helping me pick some things out. And so is old girl. Say hey, big girl. So we're having a good day for our farms. Some variegated hydrangea, which are all propagated here. I love, I have some of those at home. Also, all these boxwoods were propagated here. And look at these gorgeous gold mop cypress. Oh my goodness. Want me to move? Oh no, we're fine. Oh, I can move. Okay, you wanna move? We can, we can. Let's just do a scale of all of this. So this will be hanging in the Enterprise City um, Square or in their intersections. So Enterprise is about track. 30 minutes away from Dothan. It's a nearby be on the train track. town. Yeah, so John, you compiled all these container containers, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so cool. They're beautiful. And the Satsuma too. Yeah, those are gorgeous. So y'all may remember that there was a huge overgrown boxwood hedge that had been kept in a square shape for probably about 25 years actually and it was under this window and it was askew and i really just decided after some thought that because it's in the front of my house i could have salvaged the boxwoods i could have trimmed them pruned them and waited a couple of years for them to become what i wanted them to be but sometimes i think you just gotta cash in your chips and so a few days ago just got my shovel i got out here and i dug up the boxwood hedges on either side of the house in the front and now i have a clean slate to work with now along this window i plan on putting four or five just small wintergreen boxwoods and keeping them in individual not balls not tight balls but 
keeping them as individual plants rather than letting them get into a big hedge like they did before. I'm gonna put this Oakland Holly, which I absolutely love it in the corner here for its structure and its height. And because this is a larger home and because it is um, just the architecture of the home being the way that it is, I think it was important to add some height and some structure into this so front. As you can see in this front little curve, I've put three gold mop cypress and I love them for their flowy foliage and the chartreuse foliage and they're very forgiving. They can do all right in sun or shade. And I believe that these are the dwarf variety. There are some that get a lot bigger, but these I plan on keeping small right here at the curve. And then behind them, this gorgeous Oakland Holly. I love it. Um, it's got like a bluish tint on its foliage, which I'm just now noticing. And um, I guess because it's in the shade right here and my other Oakland Hollies I had at the other house were in the sun. So I love that. Now, I decided to go with Vintage Jade Distillium along the front, four on either side of the sidewalk. And the reason I chose these is because of the architecture of the house being as it is, I need some visual weight in the front. And we had talked about keeping it really small so that we could show off that brickwork that was covered up by those Yopon Hollies. If you're new to the channel, go back and find a, a video and you'll see when we moved in this house and all along the front, there were huge overgrown uh, Yopon hollies that were probably five, four to five feet tall that were completely covering up all this brickwork. And we took those out. Now, what I'm going to try to do with the distillium, it only gets to be about two to three feet tall and up to five feet wide. I'll probably keep it in a tighter shape than five feet wide. I don't think I want to let it get that that big but i do think that it's going to serve a good purpose and fill in some of that space in between the bricks while also allowing you to see the brickwork and so i think that's going to be really nice so i'm going to plant that there and also i'm going to extend these two front beds and kind of come out let's like curve it a little bit and then come in towards the sidewalk on either side and give myself a little triangular bed in the front to maybe put some cone-shaped boxwoods and then plant some annuals and color along the front eventually right now what we're doing here is we're just really trying to take out what's old and what's spent and what we really don't care for and put in the bones of the garden so that is what we're trying to do is lay the foundation with lots of evergreens and then later on we'll come back and we'll fill in with things that are really fun but when I first started gardening that was what I completely missed out on was all I wanted to do was put in hydrangeas and flowers and things like that but truly what you need in a garden is lots of layers lots of evergreens and then you come in and you do all the flowers and the things like that so what I'll do here under this window is put probably five more wintergreen boxwoods to mirror what I'm doing on the other side of the house. And then I also have three um, gold mop cypress plants, another Oakland holly that will eventually grow tall, probably to about 12 feet tall. These can get, I would say six, seven, feet wide but I'll keep it in a conical shape we can put in evergreens with different leaf shapes different textures that just makes a garden so special I'll pr try to put up a picture of what that boxwood hedge looked like On either side of my house underneath these windows so that y'all can see the difference it was so amazing when they came out I loved having that overgrown boxwood hedge out to expose the brick
very pleased with the way that these distillium are going to look in this front bed here. And I planted them about three feet out from the porch to give them plenty of room to grow. And whenever they start putting on new growth in the, in the spring, I think they're going to look so fabulous. They're going to be a really nice evergreen structural plant to have here as the bones of the front landscape along with the other boxwoods and the hollies i think it's shaping up to be nice i hope you all agree all right y'all this is just a little snapshot of what i believe is coming together to be a gorgeous bed on the south facing side of the house I'm really, really liking this prog progress. I love the boxwoods in here and the abelia in a drift. That looks really pretty. And that was a suggestion of one of you. So thank you so much for that. The Tamukiyama. Very happy to have this in the ground. I was so worried about this plant right here. This came with me from the other house and it's like a prized specimen. Let's see if I can get a good shot. I just love it whenever the sun lights those leaves and you can catch such a great glimpse of the color. So this tree is a Tamukiyama Japanese maple and it is gorgeous. It will get probably about six, seven feet tall and maybe about as wide. And I think it's gonna be really happy in this particular corner of this bed. So later on, maybe this weekend or early next week, hopefully I can get out and plant the remainder of these plants along the front of the house, the Oakland Hollies, the Gold Mop Cypress, Wintergreen Boxwoods, Little Lime Hydrangeas, Abelia, boxwood. I've got a blue star juniper over there somewhere and a pinky winky. So there's a lot that needs to go in the ground in the coming days. So y'all be looking for videos to come on the remainder of the front landscape being installed. In the meantime, have a really wonderful rest of your weekend. And I will talk to you soon.